Hello, this is the Lord's Legion and welcome to a brand new countdown and in this video we're going to be counting down my personal top 8 most anticipated comic book movies of 2019. And the reason why this is only a top 8 is because for one, 2019 is going to be smaller when it comes down to comic book films and second of all, I'm only going to be focusing on the blockbusters. So don't expect any animated movies or any indie superhero films. And I know that I have been very lacking when it came down to the end of 2018 in terms of videos, but hopefully 2019 I will get back to the groove of things. So without further ado, let's begin with this countdown. So kicking off the list at number 8, we have X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now last year, X-Men Dark Phoenix was at the very bottom of my list back in 2018, and since it's been delayed to 2019, it comes as no surprise that this movie is at the bottom of this list. And for a very good reason, because I honestly do believe that X-Men Dark Phoenix will be a complete clusterfuck. Not only is Dark Phoenix going to be almost a no-for-note -note remake of The Last Stand, but also the fact that this movie has been delayed and reshot into a oblivion to the point where this movie will be almost as messy as something like Justice League. And given how Marvel Studios are going to regain the rights of X-Men and Fantastic Four, X-Men Dark Phoenix just feels redundant at this point. And I do get that some people are excited to see the conclusion of this franchise, but coming from someone who doesn't really care about this franchise at all, I just want it to be over and dusted and I just want the reboot to come out sooner. So for number 7 we have Shazam. And I know that some people are going to hate me for this, mainly because they do believe that this is going to be the saviour for the DC Extended Universe. But to be brutally honest with everyone, I think Shazam is going to be only as good as the Ant-Man films, which, depending on your preference, this could be a good or bad thing. And I will give DC credit where credit is due, it is cool to see that they are going for a lighter approach with their movies now. And admittedly Shazam looks like a pretty fun ride. But that's where it ends for me because I don't think Shazam is going to be anything high art or even remotely memorable. I could be wrong on this however and it might blow my mind, but if I'm not really too fond on the Ant-Man movies then chances are I don't think Shazam is going to be that appealing to me. Nothing bad per se, but just not for me. So for number 6 we have The New Mutants. Now last year, back when The New Mutants was scheduled for 2018, this was one of my most anticipated movies, but now that it's been delayed to oblivion, I am very worried for The New Mutants. And why this movie is above the other two on this list is because I deeply admire how Fox are willing to take a certain angle with the X-Men franchise and go for a more horror take with The Mutants. However, what my real concern is, is the fact that I do think Fox might mess this one up and that they might even butcher the new mutants. Because ever since the delays we have heard next to nothing about the new mutants nor have we seen any material. There is still that small part of me inside that does wish for the new mutants to be something truly special but at this point it is very unlikely. Coming in at number 5 we have Hellboy. Now I do fully understand on as to why some people aren't as accepting of this reboot, mainly because of how fantastic the first two Hellboys were. However, I am still very hopeful in that this reboot could be something worthy of its own. But similarly with the new mutants, it does seem like Hellboy does have a bit of an identity crisis. On one hand, they are pitching that this movie is going to be much darker than the first two Hellboy movies, but at the same time, it just feels like a more fun yet violent action flick. But based on a lot of the things that I have seen and the stuff that I've heard about this movie, I do think Hellboy is going to be a lot of fun. And the reason why this movie is above New Mutants despite having similar problems and issues is the fact that I do feel like Lionsgate are a little more confident in this movie than Fox are with the New Mutants and between these two movies, I do feel like Hellboy has a better chance of being good. So for number 4 we have Captain Marvel. Now Captain Marvel does have a lot of things to live up to considering how she is going to be the very first female superhero in the MCU to headline her own standalone film without sharing second villain with another character. And plus Captain Marvel is technically the last film before we do reach to Endgame. And I know that some people aren't exactly won over the fact that Brie Larson is going to be Captain Marvel and the fact this is going to be yet another origin story but I still have some hope here. But the thing that gets me the most about this movie is the fact that it's going to be set in the 90s and it can further expand on the MCU as well as give us some more hints towards Avengers Endgame. Plus I do think that Captain Marvel is way overdue for her own standalone film at this point so I still think that this is going to be a pretty kick-ass ride. Coming in at number 3 we have Joker. 
Now, Joker is easily the most bizarre comic book movie of 2019. Since this is going to be the origin of the Joker, that will be set within the 80s and will not even be connected to the DCEU. And because of how bizarre this premise really is, as well as the fact that this is a make or break movie, this is the very thing that has me excited for Joker because of how bizarre it is. And when it comes down to DC's more standalone titles like Watchmen, FIFA Vendetta, and to an extent the Dark Knight trilogy, standalone DC movies tend to be Warner Brothers' very best. And given such talent like Walking Phoenix on board for this Joker movie has me all the more excited. Because not only is this going to be a completely different DC movie, but I I do feel like this could have the potential to be something really special for comic book films in general. And I do hope that Joker does pave the way for more super villain movies. So for the runner up at number 2 we have Spider-Man Far From Home. Now I absolutely love Spider-Man Homecoming and as far as live action Spider-Man movies are concerned, Spider-Man Homecoming is the best Spider-Man film. And plus Spider-Man Far From Home will in fact be the very first film in the MCU's Phase 4. So automatically my hype for this movie is at an all time high. And based on some of the stuff that we've heard about this movie such as the fact that Spider-Man is going to be in Europe, as well as Mysterio finally getting the chance he deserves to be a main villain in one of these movies, and even the inclusion of Shield such as Nick Fury and Maria Hill, it does seem like we're going to have a very different Spider-Man film. And plus, it will be very interesting to see what the MCU will look like post-Endgame. Speaking of Endgame, it should come as absolutely no surprise that number one is in fact Avengers Endgame. Now at this point, I do believe that everyone is very keen to see what will happen after the events of Avengers Infinity War and to see how the Thanos saga will end. And what really does intrigue me about Avengers Endgame is the fact that we're not even that far away from its release and we still know next to nothing about the movie in general. Sure we know some of the basis of what the movie is going to be about and what might happen but given so many leaks I haven't even bothered to keep track given the fact that I don't want to be spoiled by anything nor do I ever even want to stumble across some fake rumours. And while it does seem somewhat smaller in comparison to Infinity War on the surface, Avengers Endgame will be the be all end all for the MCU as we know it and at the end of the day the MCU will never be the same after Endgame. And for all these reasons and so much more, this is why I put Avengers Endgame as my most anticipated comic book film of 2019. So what comic book movie are you most excited to see in 2019? And which comic book film do you think might end up being the worst out of the bunch? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care and have a good one.